start. Use the histogram below to answer the questions that follow, that follows. And I'm going to highlight that histogram and go back and study what a histogram is. Gives us a histogram. A histogram, by the way, just as a quick definition, it measures the frequency of something that happens. So here we have sum of two number cubes, two six-sided number cubes. I don't know why they just don't say dice. <laughs> You're rolling two dice <laughs> and um, are rolled simultaneously. Uh, simultaneously, let me see, let me go back here, ten times. The sums are recorded in the histogram shown above. Which of the following statements can be inferred from the histogram? Then it has these questions. The mean is less than the median by one-tenth. The mean is greater than the median by one-tenth. The mean is less than by one-half. The mean is uh, greater than the median by one-half. So, so right away, uh, that word histogram is really used a lot. We can... We, if we had these two dice and we're, you know, we're rolling these two dice, you're going to get a different combination of numbers. Sometimes you're going to get, you know, depending on what you roll. So let's say I roll here, I roll a 3, and this rolls on a 2. Well, that would mean I would have 1, 5. So when this person did this, and they're rolling their dice, they came up with 3 times the sum was 3, 1 time the sum was 4, Five times, I mean, pardon me, three times the sum was five, and seven times the sum was seven. And then we also, our other keywords here, you know, are mean and median. We should address that really quickly. Because we're going to have to be comparing what the mean is and the median. Well, the mean, when we think of the mean, I want you to think about average. So in this case right here, we had the dice was rolled um, all these times, but we only uh, so we had ten values that we're going to be looking at. We had three plus a, when we find out the when we're doing the the mean, we want to add up all the numbers, and then we're going to divide by the the number of times I rolled the dice. In this case, we rolled those dice ten times. And we had numbers that were, uh, I had three threes, I had one four, I had five fives, I'm sorry, three fives, and then three sevens. All right, so I want to find, I want to find out what the sum is of each one of these, because each time it's in this column, it's a three. Here's my 1, 4. In this column, each one of those cubes represents a 5, and this one represents a 7. Okay, great. So, let's add these up. What's my total? And then I'm going to divide by, I'm going to divide by my, um, the amount of times I rolled the dice. So I got 9 there. I got um, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. Okay. But then I'm going to um, add that to the 4, so I'm going to get a 19. And then the 3 7s is a 21. All right, now how do I want to do this? I think what I'll do is I'll add these two. I get 40, uh, I get a, let's see, I get 40. Now 40 plus 9, oh, that gets me my 49. You know what? You can add these however you like. I'm just clicking, picking a very quick strategy to do. So when I get 40 over or 10, I can divide that. How do I divide that? Well, I'm reducing by a factor of 10. What that's like doing is moving the decimal over one space. Move the decimal over one space. So that 49 can just become 4.9 over 1. So my mean is 4.9. The average roll is approximately 4.9. Okay, so that helps me, gives me some practice with how to find the mean or average of a set of numbers. But what if we're dealing with the median? The median is the middle number. So let me get rid of all this extra stuff here. 
the middle number in a set of numbers that we're looking at. So when we do the median, there's a couple ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is just to say the first and the last, then cross out the next two, and cross out the next two. And you gotta be really careful when you do this, cross out the next two. Now, if there's an even set of numbers like we have here, there's 10 numbers, we're gonna come to two numbers at the end. When you do that, what you wanna do is add both numbers and divide by two. Essentially, we're finding the average number. So what would that be? That would be 10 divided by two, which would get us five. So the middle, and if it was just one number, let's say there was only nine numbers, then whatever's in the middle there, you know, would be, uh, be your answer. So the middle number here is 5. Now you just have to ask yourself, is the mean less than or greater than? This is our fork. You know, let's say I wasn't so sure about my math, but I knew the mean was less than. Well, if I knew the mean was, oops, if I knew the mean was less than, I could eliminate, right away I could eliminate um, the mean is all the values that say the mean is greater than. That's, that's using the fork strategy. Okay, now less by how much? Well, what's 5 divided um, minus 5.9? It's 1 tenth. So the mean here is less than the median by 1 tenth. All right, team, so our answer here, when we go about it, we get to the mean is less than the median by 1 tenth. And we reviewed when we were going over this problem, and you're going to go back, you're going to look up, you know, what a histogram is and look at some examples. You're going to make sure that you understand how to read this and read and identify a histogram when you see it. Um, you're also going to um, take a few minutes and you're going to review how to find the mean of a set of numbers. That's the average value. And then you're also going to look at that set of numbers and practice finding the middle number or the median. These are the skills that they want you to practice in this problem. So this is what I'm recommending you to do. Thanks so much team for watching. Keep on uh, sending your questions. Check out one of the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops or you could go to the website gomath.com and sign up for some one-to-one.